Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video on the tropics. And so in this video, we will be talking about what is currently going on across the North Atlantic Basin. There are quite a few tropical waves that are making their way across the area and uh, we'll be talking about that as well as conditions. And uh, there is a cold front that is going to be bringing some impacts to portions of the Northwestern Caribbean. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update video on the tropics and to show your support for the channel you can leave a like on this video okay and so let's go back to that infrared satellite view of the north atlantic and there we're seeing that there is quite a bit going on so there is a cold front that is off the east coast of the u.s extended into the gulf of mexico bringing along with it cool wet conditions and uh, there is another frontal system that is located out in the atlantic but that cold front is going to keep making its way down and is going to be bringing some impacts to sections of the northwestern Caribbean, including areas such as Cuba, Belize, maybe even the Cayman Islands as well, uh, extended up into the Bahamas. And so there is cool wet weather associated with them, of course, because we have that shower and thunderstorm activity developing along that boundary. And behind that front, we have all of that mass of cold air. So that is why things are typically cool after the passage of a cold front. But this is going to be stalling in the northwestern Caribbean and it's going to be gradually weakening and dissipating uh, as we're going to be heading into the end of this week. So uh, that is what is on the horizon in terms of that cold front. But there are a few tropical waves moving across the area, as I said. So there is one that is currently crossing over into the eastern Pacific, of course. And uh, there is another that is located in the central Caribbean. And looking at a closer view, we're not seeing any indications of a tropical wave moving across the area, but it is there but there's just not really much activity in association with it and so looking to the east of the lesser antilles uh, we're not really seeing any indications of a tropical wave there but it indeed is so a tropical wave is approaching the lesser antilles but there is no significant convection that is associated with that a tropical wave right now and then to the east of that wave there is another and there is a low pressure area associated with it so uh let's look closer at these two and so there we have that one and there is another that is just off the coast of Africa so we see quite a bit of activity all that shower and thunderstorm activity in association with these two tropical waves out there and so if you're wondering none of these are marked as a disturbance that should be watched over the next several days and uh, it isn't likely that we're going to be seeing any significant development of any of these uh, waves that are out there and so as we go ahead and move on to conditions right now so there we are seeing that water vapor loop and the yellow and oranges those indicate dry air and we have the whites the greens that indicate moisture and so there we have all of that activity in association with the cold front that is making its way uh, down and we have some dry conditions across sections of the Caribbean and if we actually go back to the satellite map we're not seeing or anything significant is happening across the region as of right now but of course for some areas such as Jamaica and maybe other islands of the greater Antilles there is that chance of afternoon showers uh, due to all the heating throughout the day so uh, that can result in some shower and thunderstorm development across some sections of the area. But aside from that, things should be mainly on the sunny side for majority of these areas. And then as we go ahead and take a look at the wind shear map we're seeing here, that we have the red, that means unfavorable wind shear, the yellow, that means neutral, and the green, that means favorable. And of course, we have all that unfavorable wind shear that is dominating most of the Atlantic Basin right now. So we're not seeing much really happening, and that explains why the tropical waves are not given any chances to develop, because things would just be too hot hostile to see a tropical cyclone develop from them but as we progress into the rest of this month go into next month we'll see what's going to be happening if there is going to be any uh tropical cyclone developing within that time frame before the official end of the hurricane season but the wind shear is quite strong out there right now and even looking at this graph it is above average 
So as we take a look at the y-axis of this graph here going up, uh, the higher up you go, the stronger the wind shear. And then on the x-axis, we have the different months of the year. And so now we are at October, of course, thereabout. And so we're seeing that the wind shear is actually above average. So the black line indicates the mean or the average the wind shear across the area. Meanwhile, we have the blue line indicating what is currently there. So things are uh, quite hostile again out there in terms of that wind shear and we're seeing that there is that period from around mid-june going to early november where we have the wind shear being at its lowest value at its minimum and we also have those very warm waters this is a period of late spring going to summer as well as the early parts of autumn so uh, there are typically warm waters across the tropical atlantic so with all those uh usual conducive conditions that is the reason we have june to november being de being designated as the uh, period of the hurricane season. But uh, this hurricane season has definitely not been what was initially anticipated in terms of the activity because, I mean, we had a long stretch without a single tropical cyclone. And for that to happen during a La Nina season is quite significant, guys. But I mean, the reason for that was because of the above average wind shear and mainly all of that Saharan dust that was so dominant uh, across the uh, main development region where we typically have our tropical waves moving off the coast of Africa and propagating towards the west. So the abundance of dry air really prevented that very moist environment which is ideal for tropical cyclone development so without that uh, we won't typically see much going on and that is exactly what took place throughout the majority of July and the entire month of August. No tropical cyclones uh, really developing within that time frame. Just two tropical cyclones in July and then we've uh, we haven't had another storm until early September when Danielle developed. And so so that was unexpected. But I mean, all that dry air out there is definitely a factor to consider each hurricane season because when we have that surplus or that abundance, then we won't typically have a whole lot of development. So uh, that's what's happened, though, this hurricane season. And uh, it could have been worse. So hopefully there is nothing major that is on the horizon between now and the rest of the hurricane season. But uh, that has been what it is. It hasn't been an extremely active hurricane season, but there have been some destructive tropical cyclones. And so guys, that is really it for this updated video in terms of what is happening across the tropics. So again, we have all those tropical waves making their way across the area, but uh, we only have the ones that are out in the main development region uh, really having all that convective activity taking place with them. And there is that cold front that is going to be making its way down into the northwestern Caribbean, affecting areas such as portions of Belize, maybe Mexico as well, the Cayman Islands, Cuba, with cooler than normal temperatures as well as uh, possible showers as we're going to be heading into the end of this week and of course guys i'm going to be keeping you updated on what is happening as time goes by and so that is it for this update and if you have any questions you can leave them down in the comments and you can also share your thoughts there and remember to always be weather wise